Hey, yeah. Uh, I'm up very silly late. Um, yeah, I've got reason to uh, wait for a washing machine to go through its first little cycle and then put things on again. Ugh, pretty grim. Um, so, yeah, so I'm up at 1.38 in the morning. Tomorrow, I've got to do a lot of tidying. Then I'm going to go see Game Grumps live. That's going to be exciting. I'm going to really date myself and possibly demonstrate which end of the UK I'm in. Um, anyway, so let's go to Danau, the flower city. Oh, I've got a drink as well because I've been very thirsty after the night's activities. Watching lots of modern Doctor Who. I have to specify that. Oh, bump. Right, yeah. See, so, yeah, I'm not going to be. Probably not going to be great. Right, let's see what these people have to say. It's, it's, Danau is a very pretty city, lots of flowers. Welcome to Danau, the flower city. Now the Queen Fury is anchored at the port of the city. I heard that before the wedding, everybody in the city got together and kicked out the gang. What wedding? Thanks to you, the wedding went fine and we're finally living peaceful lives. Oh, oh, she is uh, making sure all the other cats get their exercise in. What a little maniac. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, in a literal sense, by the way. I recognise that that's actually a really... If, I, if it was used for a uh, human, that'd be quite a charged t term. But she is experiencing mania, so, you know. I do have reason. Right, what's happening here? Oh. Yeah, I vaguely remember the shop. How did I did I get everyone's stuff? Let's see. Yeah, silver vest and tiaras. You know, everyone's fine. That's not a weapon shop. You've got no weapons. Uh item shop. Let's just have a quick look, see if there's anything I think we need. I think a few more angels' prayers and some healings. Um, God. Um, why don't we actually have a look and see what all the stuff is down to sell? God, this is not going to be exciting. I'm not going to be doing any fun voices. Uh, useful, useful, useful. Maybe too many of them, but still useful. Purifiers. I need to remember to actually use those. Alright, let's... Oh my god, you have to do the same... Th oh my god, you have to do the whole thing every time. Oh no. Oh no, that's really grim. Why would I want to do that? Um... Okay. Uh, well, that seems pretty pointless. Oh well, right. Okay, let's go see if I can do something which means I can do a funny voice. Uh, but yeah, so I'm down here. And I'll be playing up until the point. It's a nice day today. It's the best day for laundry. Um, so yeah, I've been up really late watching... Uh, modern Doctor Who with the wife. We've been starting from Eccleston onwards because as I pointed out the Christopher Eccleston Doctor Who episodes, they feel like Doctor Who. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, after a certain point, it's like halfway through Tenant's run and just there being like, this is an American program now. This is really slick. What's going on here? But admittedly like my favourite Doctor Who is probably Pertwee. Probably? Really like Pertwee. 
I like, um... Oh, that's really lame. I like the ones where they ran out of money for the show, so he stopped at going... He stopped going to other planets and going to other places in time. Started just going to... <laughs> around the British countryside. So, like, um... Uh, it's really lame. The first serial that has the Silurians in it. Uh, Beneath the Surface? Is that the one? Yeah, I like that one. Um, again, I, I, I like those like Silurian ones. Um, are there ones that really stuck out to me? Um, and Tom Baker. Everyone likes Tom Baker. Tom Baker's just the, the regular one, you know? Um, oh, and there was one with the second Doctor, which I quite enjoyed. I enjoyed it more as an audio than the video, though. Um, there's really good audio versions out now. If you're listening to this, you probably like audio entertainment, and I really can't recommend Doctor Who audio dramas more than I than ever. You know, like they do stuff with like a lot of the lost scripts and things. It's really good. Really good, I really recommend. Um, yeah, no, um, Second Doctor. Is it Tomb of the Cybermen? Is that it? They go beneath the ice? Ugh, I had a VHS of it when I was a kid. Um, weird things to remember. Um, yeah. I think it got, I think it was a car boot purchase. Alright, yes, and there's the church. I don't know if it's worth really talking to many of these people. Should we just see if we can go to wherever is most likely to have stuff to do? I think that seems like the best option for me. So don't edit this. Oh, um, between episodes I did the walk between Fletz and Danau. And Danau. Alright, let's see if we can go have a talk to the mayor. The mayor. Is it mayor or is it mayor? Are they a horse? That is a terrible pun. Ugh. Right. Hello, Mayor. Oh, no. The Mayor is right. Please go to the port as soon as possible. Okay. Okay. Right. Right, let's walk down here. So, this area, this part of the game has some, like, lovely environmental design to it. I think, like... The actual plot has some major second season of the anime energy to it, though. That's the thing I would, if I was to criticise, that's what I'd say. Ah, we got talking. Sh Shanna says, is this a ship? Kongol says, Kongol is excited. This bigger than Kongol. Lots of things are bigger than you, mate. Dart. So this is the Queen Fury. Oh, someone did an interrobang. Kayla said, You must be Dart. Oh, that's my constable voice. Dart. Yes, I am. And you? My name is Kayla. I'm a crew member of the Queen Fury. Actually, I wonder if I'm being miles too loud. It is the middle of the night, even though I'm downstairs. You know? Anyway. I'll get the Commodore now. Commodore? Commodore Poodle? Dot and his friends are here. Poodle says, What, Kira? Quiet down. You shouldn't interrupt a man of the sea when he's deep in contemplation. Sometimes you just listen to the waves and tell that, and let your dreams drift freely on the sea. Uh, oh, uh, Kayla. Uh, hey, Commodore. Dirt and his friends are here. You got an order from the king, didn't you, sir? Oh, you are brave young people who routed the bandits. Routed the bandits. Apologies. You will be honoured guests of my ship, the Queen Fury. Dart. Thank you. We don't want any special treatment. 
You are on a serious mission. It's the same as yours to pursue Lennis. Hmm, I respect that. Kayla. We are ready to go, sir. Pula. Aye. Now the only thing left is for you to board. It's always going to like a... Like a... Is it Richard? Oh, I got Richard and David Attenborough confused. And it's like... And now... The wasps are shagging. Anyway, pull that. As soon as you're ready, we will hit the high seas. Not a million miles from each other, are they, Pooler and Kayla, in terms of voices? Maybe I should make one of them David Attenborough. Richard Attenborough? One of the Attenboroughs. We've been... Kayla? We've been waiting for you. Are you ready to go? Yes, because I cannot be fucked with anything else. So Dart says... Yes. Kayla. Oi, oi. Let's sit sail. Oh, that's a lovely little... Musics. Oh. Ah. Oh, we're on the. There's a little, nice little uh, bit of world map with a big ship. Uh, I quite like that ship. That ship's a pretty cool design. Um. Yeah. I. Uh, oh, yeah. That's nice. That's a really nice render. The crow's nest in the ship. There's well, roses in the top in it. It's nice. Mm, birds flying around. That is a really good render. That's really nice. Like this game has some excellent renders going on here. You know? I mean, they're very off the time, but... Oh, Shanna is playing around on the deck also. Just looks absolutely brilliant. Shanna says, So much has happened! I was kidnapped, and Dart came to rescue me. We met Lovitz. Eventually, we saved Sergio. And now we're here, chasing Lloyd. I don't know whether or not I should do the... Because um, Lloyd is spelt with a double L, right? And I don't know if it actually would be, but it would be very funny to say Lloyd. Lloyd. That wouldn't work, would it? Ugh. I'll probably get... I'm getting some trouble with my family, I think, with, for that particular bit of making fun. Anyway, Shanna. There are so many things I still don't understand. The moon that never sets. The voice of the Virage. I wish I could fly like you guys. Oh, by the way, Shanna is talking to all the birds that are flying around the ship. That's what she's doing. So, you know, nobody shoot that albatross. So around my neck was not a cross, but twas the albatross. But that would just be running away from my problems. Dark would laugh at me if he heard all this. Dart, I wonder where he went. Oh, and we've got control of Shanna. And now we're going to... Uh, well, we're going to quickly save, because there's a save point. Who doesn't love a save point? Um, yeah. So we're going to walk around the shadow and we're going to catch Dart downstairs with Mary. Below decks, so to speak. Oh, Shanna, you're so low. Level. Um, I'll just hit action on a person on a on a sailor. And Shanna has observed that he's focused on cleaning. I shouldn't disturb him. Oh, sailor says, Oh, sorry, did I get your feet dirty? Right, um, how are we going to find that? So there's three portholes over there. Oh, portholes? Whatever they are. Doors over there. And there's, Let's go below decks first. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, there's lots of people. Oh, it's a, it's some kind of steamship. And Kongol's there. Let's see what Kongol has to say. Shanna. Hi, have you seen Dart? Shanna. I'll look somewhere else then. I think Kongol was meant to have shook his head at us, but it's hard to tell from this distance. 
Oh, we're talking to some random sailors. I heard that Linus girl just literally flew away at an unbelievable speed. The more we shovel the fuel in, the more power the ship has. <sighs> Pins and needles. Pins and needles in me wrist. Oh, another sailor to talk to. It's well known among sailors that a phantom ship appears around this area. That's good to know. Let's check this way. Oh, we appear to be in the ship's kitchen. Oh, Miss Shadow! Sailor says, See, how much about having, how about having a vegetable cutting match with me? Oh, is this a mini game? There's vegetable cutting, description of the game. These are the rules. The person who cuts up the most vegetables within the time limit wins. If the number of vegetables is the same, the person with more chopping wins. I place down a variety of vegetables. You must make a selection by pressing the X button. Continue to press the X button to chop them up. One for green spinach, three times for red carrots, five times for white radishes, seven times for a big cabbage. Until I place the vegetable, please do not press the X button. I got pro I gotta protect my hands. After all, you must win the match in order to set a new high score. Make sure you save your game to save your score. That's all I can tell you. What are you going to do? Let's let's have a go at playing. Shanna says, "Let's play. I'm good at cooking." So, oh, you want to play with me? The vegetable cutting contest. It's my work. It's my passion. It's my life. Please wait while I get ready. Okay. Ready. This is not entertaining audio at all. Yeah, this is nuts. Um, not the same number of pieces, but I did a lot more chops, so I think I did it wrong. Yeah, that was not exciting, I don't think. Oh no, we won anyway. Oh, it's a new chopping record. It's a new record for the number of vegetables. So would you like to play again? No, because I've not won anything. Shanna says, sorry, I have something else to do. Say so says, I understand. When you would like to play, call me. Well, well, thank you for helping with my work. It's nothing but something... Okay, I acquired a single gold piece. I'm not fucking doing that again. Yep. Okay, that was uh, a waste of time. What a surprise. Um, let's see, what's this way? Do, do, do. Uh, I appear to have found the bunks. Yeah, right. Let's see. Let's annoy Maru. Shanna says, What are you doing in here? Maru says, I'm just bored. Hey, I know. Let's have a pillow fight. Shanna says, Sorry, I'm a little bit busy now. Uh, 
Mary says, uh, boring. Oh, well, okay. Mary wants to have a pillow fight. Oh, oh. Pinsies and needlesies. Sailor says, if that wingly woman flies all the way to Mill says, oh, that's got to be a big problem. The place is vast. We'll never find her. I felt like that was me about to go, I'm the itcher. Let me put you in the picture. But did that sailor have solo polo vision? Mm, we'll never know. Kayla, go report this to the Commodore. Oi, oi, sir. Oh, Kayla is, of course, a girl. Oh, yeah. Well. Uh, oops. Sorry, Miss Shayna. Okay, so something's being reported. And we'll go down these. Is this another, is this another engine room? It's just engine room after engine room. I reported it to the Commodore. All right. Thank you. Oh hi there, young lass. You're a sweat out. You'll sweat out a lot of weight in here. You're already skinny enough. That's this guy says. Oh well, I'm looking at that. It says it's an unbelievable machine. It's an unbelievable machine. It's an unbelievable machine. I think it's that guy who's saying it's an unbelievable machine. It's an unbelievable machine. It's an unbelievable machine. Oh well. Right. Shanna, learn how to walk. God damn it. Right. Let's talk to Kayla. This ship is Tiburua's last hope. In order to get back the royal treasure, everybody is doing their best. Good to know, Kayla. Kayla! Is it too late to ask where to go? And Kayla, where the fuck am I finding that? Oh. Who doesn't love a bit of Meridian? Oh. Bump. Alright, I'm guessing then it's one of these ways. Okay, so this is more beds. Oh, it's a bed with an Albert in it. Shanna says, Have you seen Dart? Oh, it says, no, I thought you were with him. I thought it was Ma your turn. Shanna. Afraid not. Um, what are you doing, Albert? Albert. Well, you, when you listen to the sound of the waves, you feel like the world itself is break breathing. It's very relaxing, so I close my eyes. Shanna says, You're quite the poet, Albert. I'll look somewhere else. I wouldn't do that on a ship. I'd end up being sick. But then again, that's me. Hmm. Oh, another sailor rushing his things. Oh, Miss Shanna, when I finish cleaning, can we have a cup of tea? Okay, no worries. I'm sure we could make... Adjustments for that. Right, let's go up these stairs, and maybe it's maybe darts up at the top. Maybe that's where the helm is. Maybe that's where the Commodore is. Ugh, God, that was a Commodore 64. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, Commodore 64. Never had one. Mm. Oh, mm. my dad didn't keep any of his old PCs. From back, 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 back. But you had a lot to say about Sinclair's, I think. Anyway. He hello, Miss Shanna. Oh, there's Heyshaw. Shanna. Heyshaw? Oh, dot, dot, dot. He's meditating. I shouldn't disturb him. Oh, another sailor thing. The cruise theory is the only steel boat in all of Endiness. It can endure even the wrath of a sea dragon. 
I keep forgetting endiness is their word for the world. But it just sounds really silly. It's like, what is the property of being more at the end? Endiness. Here you are, Dot. There he is. Arms crossed, staring into camera. Shanna. Hi, Dot. Dot. Oh, Pula. Were you good to see? There's a lot to think about. Friendship, life, the romance. Dart's heart is surely wandering in the Mother Ocean. Shanna. Such a serious face. He must be thinking about the Black Monster. Dart. Oh, Shanna, is something wrong? Shanna. I've been thinking about the past and future. And about you and me. Dart. You and me? Shanna. Eventually our journey will be over, right? Dart. Yeah, eventually. But I wonder where it'll be. Where we'll be. Where will we be? Where will we be? Shanna. I want to be with you, Dart. But... Dot, dot, dot. Never mind. Pula. Love is a lot like the ocean. If you don't swim against the current and just enjoy it, it you will overcome it. Thinking alone is important, but you should be careful not to close yourself off from the thoughts of others. Dart. The black monster. I still don't know anything about it. Maybe Rose might know something. I never asked her. Uh, I'm guessing Rose is up here because we saw her in the crow's nest. <laughs> oh, yep. Ah, here you are, Rose. Might move up. I think I can't be sure. I wonder. So that, so the crow's nest is a render. I think. I'm not 100 percent sure either. They've been very clever about how to um, capture and move that particular background as a flat image. It doesn't. No, it's not. It's not a flat image. I'm wondering. That might be um, actually like actively rendering now. Maybe. Who knows. Someone who actually knows how to do 3D stuff might be able to tell me. Right. Dart. Here you are. Rose. May I help you? Dart. It's about the black monster. I thought you might know something about it, Rose. Rose. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You were travelling just for that. Unfortunately, I have nothing to tell you. Dart. Oh. Rose. What are you planning to do when you catch the black monster? What are you going to do with him? Kill him to avenge your parents? Will that satisfy your feelings? Dart. Revenge is a waste of life. That's what I learned from Lavitz. To tell you the truth, I don't know what I'm going to do. Or even what I'll say when I face the black monster. I just want to know what he is. 
Rose, I see. Well, I can tell you some about something else instead. Do you know what the source of a dragoon's power is? War is not in man's nature. Humans make themselves fight by entering a kind of madness. It's similar with revenge. This is the tool to amplify that madness. That insanity is the source of power for dragoons. It is a truly frightening power. Dart. I didn't know that. Rose. Someday, sooner or later, you may find yourself unable to chasten your madness. I wonder how you'll fare, even with that strong will of yours. Sorry, never mind my ramblings. Dart. It's okay. When I finish with Lloyd, I'll resume my journey to pursue the Black Monster. When I face him, we'll see what happens. Yeah, this still has major second season vibes, doesn't it? They're trying to introduce like new concepts, new themes. Yes, I know, I know. I'll put you on for your second little float now. <coughs> oh, yuck. Right, Rose. Mine is not merely a journey. I'll take a walk for a change. Oh, wow, okay, I'm playing as Rose. I mean, that's going to be where I'm going to have to let end it, really. Um, what I want to do is... Am I going to end up like, going with everybody? Am I going to have a turn with everybody? Because that's going to be a bit silly. Um, that is very strange. I wonder who Rose is going to have a moment with. But yeah, that's sort of like... Oh, there's like humans don't hurt each other naturally they enter a sort of madness it's like right mate okay humanity is so fucking special no, 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 no. I mean I get it but it's still like <laughs> you know like I don't know that feels like a cop out you know that feels like people trying to get out of their ethical responsibilities you know, um, I don't think any normative system can functionally work. You know, I think really what we do is we act in a way which is consequentialist, but like, really, if you want true ethics, you want deontology, don't you? But, um, even like, but like, all these normative systems, really, I feel like more than giving you, like, a way to behave, give you a way of looking at how we do ethics anyway. Anyway, regardless of all that, I feel like going, oh, humans just enter a madness is sort of a, oh, well, it's in their nature sort of thing. You know? It's just daft. It's just daft. But, I mean, that being what causes the, um, causes the henchin powers to work, that's a very... It's a very henchin hero thing, isn't it? It's very... It's, that's... It's quite common rider, isn't it? You know? Anyway. Rose is saying, Heysel. Um, I'm not going to go to Heysel. I'm going to take Rose all the way to the save point, and I'm going to forget on what's what by the time I do anything else. Because what I want to do... I want to save just in case something happens while I'm away because uh, I'm not going to be in the house for like the first time in ages for like more than a few hours you know um yeah right right um there we go nice and safe playing as Rose on her own Turn that off, sort out the thing. I'll see you later, guys. Um, yeah, this has been Mike's Uninterested Let's Plays. I've been playing Legend of Dragoon. 
It's really good. I'm really enjoying it. This is really a good idea. This is meaning I'm enjoying a game that I wouldn't, I'd normally have petered out on by now. Um, thinking maybe if I finish this, either do Grandia, because I fucking know that game at the back of my hand, or um, maybe do Suikoden, because this has worked really well for getting me to get through Legend of Dragoon at a fair clip. Well, at least in comparison to how I'd normally do it. So maybe it'll work for Suikoden and give me the thing that I have to do it, you know? Because I keep starting it and then doing a bit and then stopping for some reason or another. So at least this would force me. I don't know whether or not I should continue Minish Cap or I should do the um, Game Boy ones. Minish Cap is at the very least going to have a bit of a... It's going to have a long wait on it, you know? I basically ended up doing the whole thing. <laughs> uh, right, anyway, I need to go to bed. So, ta -ra.